On March 19, 2022, Russia claimed to have destroyed a Ukrainian ammunition depot using hypersonic missiles. But was it the truth? As it turns out, yeah, it was. Intercontinental ballistic missiles can already travel at hypersonic speeds, meaning speeds of at least Mach 5. But they are just fired extremely high up and then they fall down with gravity. A true hypersonic missile needs to have some degree of maneuverability as well, as is the case with Russia's Kinjal missiles. Although their attack in March of 2022 was the first use of hypersonic missiles in combat, the missiles were relatively primitive with the technology Russia was employing actually dating back to the 1970s and 1980s. So we know Russia has hypersonic missiles and and is willing to use them, but do they have hypersonic nuclear missiles? According to statements made by Vladimir Putin, the Kinzhal missile is capable of carrying nuclear warheads, but uh, we don't know for sure. It is definitely plausible, and it's probably best to assume that they can. It's also probably best for Russia to remember that the United States and China both have hypersonic missiles and nuclear weapons as well. Just a reminder.